Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome to my comparison of the Chamber of Secrets and Girls Bathroom. I've been debating for some time on whether I wanted to do these topics separately or together and as you can see I decided to do it all at once having only just experienced the 2002 version of the Chamber and seeing that it included both locations. Another big thing that we see in the 2021 set is the inclusion of the Great Hall above the Chamber which which I will be comparing the 2001 through 2002 setup as well in this video. So to start us off, let's talk a bit about the five sets I'll be comparing in this video. First, we have set number 4735 Slytherin that includes 90 pieces and three minifigures of Draco Malfoy, Harry Potter who can turn into Gregory Goyle, and Ron Weasley who can turn into Vincent Crabb. This set originally retailed for $9.99 back in the year 2002. We'll also be looking at set number 76386 which is the Hogwarts Polyjuice Potion Mistake. That set includes 217 pieces and minifigures of Harry Potter who can turn into Gregory Goyle, Ron Weasley who can turn into Vincent Crabbe, and Hermione Granger who mistakenly turns into a cat and our 20th anniversary exclusive golden Harry Potter minifigure. This set just released on June 1st of 2021 and retails for $19.99 in the US. Moving on to the bigger Hogwarts sets, we have set number 4709 Hogwarts Castle, which includes 682 pieces and minifigures of Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, Hermione Granger, Draco Malfoy, Albus Dumbledore, Professor Snape, Rubius Hagrid, Peeves, and a Gryffindor Knight statue. That set originally retailed for $89.99 back in October of 2001. The counterpart to that, set number 4730, The Chamber of Secrets, released the year after, including five 591 pieces and minifigures of Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, Ginny Weasley, Tom Riddle, and Gilderoy Lockhart. That set retailed for $69.99 again the year after 2001-2002. And finally we have set number 76389 Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets. This set includes 1,176 pieces and minifigures of Harry Potter, Ginny Weasley, Luna Lovegood, Colin Creevy, Justin Finch, Fletchley, Albus Dumbledore, Nearly Headless Nick, Gilderoy Lockhart, Professor Sinistra, Tom Riddle, and our 20th anniversary exclusive of Golden Voldemort or Goldemort. This set currently retails for $129.99 and just released again on June 1st of 2021. You guys can check out my individual reviews for all of these sets link in the description below and also some additional comparison videos to the layout of Hogwarts Castle. So getting right down to business, let's start off with the Hogwarts girls bathroom or Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Getting up close and personal with the Hogwarts girls bathroom and the slide that enters the Chamber of Secrets, here's the outside view of both of those areas from 2002 and 2021. The 2021 version is comprised of two sets, one being the Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets set, and then the other one being the Hogwarts Polyjuice Potion Mistake set. Now one major difference that we see between these two builds is of course height and also size. We see a lot more blockiness going on for the 2021 version, which is to be completely expected considering the direction they were going, compared to back in 2002 that we have more of this like angle going on right there that slopes up with the smaller roof, which yet again, there is a lot more stuff that goes right on top of this section. You can see that we get some studs from the very top in order to connect more parts, spinning us right around so then we can take a look at the interiors and also the sides of these two builds. There's a look at the inside of both of these areas. You can definitely tell that LEGO put a lot more effort in this year when it comes to the Hogwarts girls bathroom. You even get a stall that we don't even see in the other one and we get at least three sinks which makes a lot of sense. One of those sinks being able to lift up via a clip piece in order to bring you down the slide into the Chamber of Secrets. Now when it comes to the 2002 version, we don't really get a slide, because I'm pretty sure they didn't have a slide piece available at the time, though I'm pretty sure I'm wrong because they might have had that stuff in like Belleville and stuff like that back in 2001. But instead we get a trap door piece, which is actually activated when you bring this part down and it'll bring down that part to create a slide down into the Chamber of Secrets. You can also see from the very side when you lift that up, 
there is a two by two circular brick in order to lock that in place. So then the trap door doesn't slip. Now, when it comes to the function of the trap door, I definitely prefer the one that we have in the newer set compared to the older set because the older set is a little bit harder to do compared to the newer set that all you have to really do is just lift up this part and plop your minifigure in that hole and make him slide right down the slide for the Chamber of Secrets compared to this one where you have to do a little bit more work and sometimes it doesn't really even work out in the end because the minifigure is a little big but it is meant to slide down like this. Another big thing to talk about in terms of comparison is the floor layout, where you can see that we have some bones going on on the floor of the 2021 version compared to this one, where we see some black snakes connected via clip pieces, which, you know, at the time they didn't have the bone piece because that, I believe, was introduced in the Pirates of the Caribbean theme. But I do just have to question why there are so many black snakes on the ground. I mean, I guess it's fine, but it's just weird that they have that within this set. And now finally, the last thing I wanted to talk about is the floor of the bathrooms, where we have more of a checkered tiled off area within the 2002 version. And then we have this sand blue, which I really like having the sand blue plate pieces in this set, but I don't think that's completely accurate to the source material. I mean, I think it should be probably a light gray, dark gray situation going on for the floor, but I'm, I'm really happy that LEGO actually did something different, giving it a little bit more color compared to that light gray, dark gray that we'll then see again within the Chamber of Secrets. I like that they do add a little bit of color just to change things up. Some other small play features that we have up here that I didn't really mention is the fact that you do get the stall where you can open up the door and see the toilet within that little claustrophobic area. Another small topic I wanted to talk about is Polyjuice Potion Transformation, where we first saw it back in the 2002 Slytherin set. And yet again, I think it's a lot more accurate that we're seeing it in the girls' bathroom compared to this set where we see more of a build for the Slytherin common room, which, you know, again, makes sense for them having the Polyjuice Potion transformations in the Slytherin common room. But as I just said, it's a lot more accurate to see it in more of a bathroom setting because that is where they actually make the Polyjuice Potion, which I do have to applaud them on recoloring the Butterbeer mug piece that we saw in the CMF Series 2 last year with that translucent green in addition to the regular translucent. Really cool to get it in that color. Would really like to get some more of these in the future. One of the things that I was most excited to see return this year was the Chamber of Secrets. Before now, I have never had this location represented in LEGO form before. I have also recently had the pleasure of purchasing the 2002 version of the Chamber that I may have fell in love with more than the one that we actually got this year. So getting some of the smaller stuff out of the way, one thing that we see in the 2021 version that we don't see in the 2002 version is the actual entrance door to the Chamber of Secrets, which I think LEGO did a very nice job representing that. You get the clip piece connection in order to open and close the vault door for the Chamber of Secrets. I also really love the snake heads that we previously saw in LEGO Ninjago. And we also get this exclusive owl piece right here, a new print for the owl, which we are actually going to be seeing in a poly bag coming up very soon. So look forward to my review of that once I get it. And then from the very back, you get some glow in the dark owl poop as well as another chocolate frog. Something we see in the 2002 Chamber of Secrets that we don't see in the 2021 version are these extra little towers that are actually connected via studs in between the areas where we actually have the studs to place the 2001 Hogwarts Castle on top of. We have two of these, one of those featuring a two by two tile print, which is pretty nice to get an extra one of, and then a taller one all the way in the back with some stained glass windows, as well as another pillar area right there where we have a light gray owl, which is also pretty nice to get in that older light gray color. Another huge thing that we don't get in 2021 is an actual walkway to the head of Salazar Slytherin. Well, I guess you can pretend that something's there, but you know, what's the fun of that? Would have been nice if they actually included something to build. I mean, I have actually been playing around. If only this thing went up a little bit more, you can just take a look at how that would look right there, where we have the 2021 head of Slytherin 
within the 2002 Chamber of Secrets. I really love how that turned out and also just having the black base areas right here to represent the water around the platform where you have your minifigures standing. Another thing that I would have really liked to see within the 2002 version is a little bit more platform from the very back, but hey, it's fine for the time period. I think they did a very nice job overall. Getting up close and personal with the head of Salazar Slytherin, I think they did a very nice job recreating it in 2021. We only get two stickers for the eyes, which I think is fine, though I definitely prefer it in a more brick-built style and it should be a lot bigger than it is. One thing that I like about the 2002 version that we don't really have within the 2021 version is the fact that we have somewhat of an area that you can pretend to have Harry standing if he has the sort of Gryffindor better placed right here where we actually have a little bit of a ledge but that's only if you remove that front piece of the Great Hall. And then again there's the problem of the Basilisk not being big enough though I definitely prefer the size of the 2002 version which I'm going to talk more about in a few minutes. When it comes to the Basilisk coming through the mouth of Slytherin, it's a lot easier to do it back in 2002, where all you really have to do is open up these two side areas. You have more of a square entrance, which, you know, I'm not too much of a fan of, but I think it's fine and it does do the job, where you can have the Basilisk come right through the mouth of Salazar Slytherin. Now, compared to having those hinge bricks back in 2002, in 2021, if you go to the very back of the build, you can take a look that we have these two clip areas that you can separate and remove this center portion in order to have an area to slide your basilisk right through to the mouth of Salazar Slytherin. Now one other thing that this back part provides is a clip piece with a basilisk fang, which I'm really happy that LEGO decided to include that as an extra feature in order to stab the diary. Compared to the 2002 Basilisk, where we don't even have to have a separate area in order to have that kind of stuff, which I'm going to talk more about later because I'm really happy with how that Basilisk turned out. So just to show it again, here's the 2021 Basilisk coming right out the mouth of Salazar Slytherin. And just take a look and see how that all works out. Just gets a little harder when you're trying to pull the tail out. Another thing I wanted to look at in this video is the 2001 Castle and 2002 Chamber of Secrets combined in comparison to the 2021 setup. Now one thing that both of these lineups have to its advantage is the ability to customize the layout. Now I prefer the 2001 through 2002 setups better only because it doesn't turn out becoming one giant block. Now you may be able to argue that the 2001 through 2002 setups can also become somewhat of a block. You can also see that a little bit here, but there's a lot more stuff that pops out compared to the 2021 setup where you just mainly have a lot of blocks, especially you build a lot of rectangles and a lot of other rectangles and squares within this lineup of the castle. Another big thing to talk about when it comes to comparing these two sets is the rocky base underneath Hogwarts. Now considering the 2001 through 2002 lineup has the Chamber of Secrets as its own standalone set in comparison to having the rest of Hogwarts Castle above it, you'd think that we'd have more of a rocky background underneath the castle, but that really isn't the case. When it comes to the rocks underneath the castle, we see a lot more underneath, well actually towards the back of the Great Hall compared to anywhere within the Chamber of Secrets. I mean, I guess you can kind of count Slytherin's head down there, but I don't really think that counts. Compared to the 2021 castle, where you can clearly see the rockiness underneath the castle, and even in a few other sets released alongside it. Another thing to talk about is length and size. We see a lot bigger of a layout for the 2001 through 2002 lineup compared to the 2021 lineup, which we're not 100% sure will continue into 2022, but I'm expecting it to do so with Prisoner of Azkaban and maybe Goblet of Fire layouts to go along with the Chamber of Secrets and Philosopher's Stone that we saw this year. And as I said before, the one thing that both of these layouts have to their advantage is the ability to customize the layout. Heck, you even have all three parts of the roofs 
on the very top of the 2021 Great Hall in order to change out what is actually going up on there, which I think is really crazy that you have all of these different features in order to move around the classrooms. And even if you didn't want the girls' bathroom above the slide, you can even move that up a level if you really wanted to. There are just endless ways to stack up and create a giant Hogwarts layout. Though, as I said, you can just make one giant block and I have experienced one giant tall block which I'll just post a picture right up on the screen right now just to show you that currently one of my most liked posts on Instagram you guys can check me out there link in the description below if you're not following me already another thing that we have here which I did talk about in another video very recently is the Great Hall which we are getting for the fourth time in Lego form if you don't count the 2018 micro scale Hogwarts castle now when when it comes to the layout of both of these great halls, they are mediocre at best. You don't really get a teacher's table at both of them, though you get two tables compared to just the one that we see in 2001 within the 2021 Great Hall. You also see a lot of cool foods, including some new cereals, which I'm really happy to see. You also get some hidden features and also the fireplace front and center for some apparent reason. Another thing that we see in the 2021 Great Hall that I really love is the house unity represented on this black flag, which I really like that it's in a black color, something different that we really haven't seen before for LEGO Harry Potter, so I do appreciate that. Compared to the 2001 Great Hall, where we only have a reversible flag for both Gryffindor and Slytherin, forgetting Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw. Another thing that I wanted to compare in this video is the Basilisk, the giant snake that lives in the Chamber of Secrets. Now we've gotten this a total of three times. I'm not going to be showing the one from 2018 because you already know what that one looks like. It's not at all accurate. These are the two most accurate representations of the Basilisk. The one that we got in the 2002 Chamber of Secrets and the one that we just got this year in 2021. Now, I definitely prefer the 2002 Basilisk just because we have so many like play features that you don't really have in the 2021 variant. The coloring is a lot more accurate and I just love the sand green. I know why they didn't use it here just because we already had it in the roofs. And I guess they just wanted to give that olive green a try, which, you know, might even just be a little bit more accurate, you know, just to be completely honest. But I do prefer the size of the 2002 variant compared to the 2021 version. If you look right off the bat, you can have the 2002 variant bite and completely eat the 2021 variant. You can just take a look at the prints and new molds actually for the heads right here. You can see just how big the 2002 variant is compared to the 2021 version. We get the prints for the eyes in the 2021 variant compared to the 2002 variant where we actually get these studs that you can have Fox come in and bite out in order to blind the basilisk and allow you to escape it without getting petrified. I really love that they include that as an extra little feature. And you also have the ability to rip out the teeth compared to in the 2021 variant where you actually have a separate area with the basilisk fang. Right here we get these glow-in-the-dark knife pieces which are also really cool to see. You can also get these in silver in some variants of the Chamber of Secrets back in 2002. And you can use this to stab the diary so I think that's really cool that they include two really amazing play features right off the bat. And not only that you actually get the 2002 Fox within that Chamber of Secrets set compared to in the 2021 set you don't actually get Fox the only way you could get Fox to go along with that 2021 Chamber of Secrets set is if you buy the Fox the Phoenix buildable character that released alongside it in the summer wave or if you actually got the series 2 CMF Dumbledore that released the year before that but before we take a look at those two birds one other thing that I wanted to say is that we do get sort of like a big chunk in the middle of both of these I definitely prefer the 2002 just because it's a lot more slimmer and round compared to this one I guess they were trying to portray the scales on here but I don't think it worked to their advantage and you can see the tails right there which use kind of similar pieces from the very end and then they use the new dragon tail piece right here that was also just introduced this year compared to the older style that you see there and you can just see that you can move around these parts right there they're connected using some different technic connections and also you can move the neck and the head of the 2002 one 
And another added feature that you can actually get with the 2021 version is the fact that you can actually open and close the mouth using one of those dragon head bottoms. Taking a quick peek and comparison of Fox the Phoenix, you guys can take a better look at all of the different versions of Fox that we've gotten over the years in my Fox and Hedwig comparison, link in the description below. But I definitely prefer the 2002 Fox, only because we have that extra added play feature where you actually have the tail feathers represented by a bar piece. So you can have your minifigures use Fox to escape the Chamber of Secrets, so I think that's another really cool added bonus. Though we don't get the printing that we get on the 2021 version, you know, that's really the one thing that I would have liked to see. And also the size is a lot more accurate compared to the one that we got in 2021. Though, like I said, I definitely really love the printing on this one, but the 2002 has to take the cake. Now to end off this segment, I thought I'd take a look at all of the different versions of Tom Riddle's diary that we've gotten over the years. We've seen two in 2002, which I'll take a quick look at in a few seconds. We have a plain black book from 2010 that we got in two different sets, both the Hogwarts Castle and Freeing Dobby. In 2018, we got one with our Dobby CMF minifigure. In 2020, we saw one with the Moaning Myrtle minifigure. And then lastly, this year, we saw another stickered version in the Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets set. Now, starting off with the two that we got back in 2002, I did want to point out that we have more of a golden color for the Chamber of Secrets version compared to the one that we get in the Freeing Dobby set or Dobby's release set, whatever that one was called, that does not have that extra golden color. I'm not sure if that's a mistake or not, to be completely honest. It might be just a small printing defect, but that's just one thing that I saw between the two versions that I had. And you can just take a look at the prints on both sides right there where we are missing the gold for that Dobby's release version. And inside, we have nothing in the one that comes in the Chamber of Secrets. And the one that we have for Dobby's release, we have an extra printed 1x2 tile of a sock, Harry's sock to be exact, with some pretty nice Gryffindor pride printing on that. As I just said, 2010 is nothing too special, just a plain black book to get the point across. In 2018, we see the new book design where we actually have the print from the front where you have a big tear where Harry stabs it with Basilisk Fang. No print from the back, but inside we get another sock print right there, the third sock print that we've gotten from LEGO. In 2020, we saw another diary with Moaning Myrtle. This one is undamaged, so you actually have a few different stages of how the diary is represented, so I'm pretty happy that we got this one. And inside we have my name is Harry Potter and then hello starting from Tom Riddle, which I think is really cool that they included that as a print in this set. And like I said, we just get the print from the front of the book. And then lastly, this year my sticker is very misprinted there. You can just take a look at that where we have somewhat of an undamaged diary. I guess some of those parts can represent some rips and tears, but there's nothing inside here to represent anything. It's just a plain tile piece which makes it probably the most disappointing version. Definitely my favorite version of the diary has to be the one that we got in 2020, which has the print with Harry and Tom Riddle communicating. To finish us off, let's take a look at some of our minifigures in comparison, starting with Harry Potter and Gregory Goyle, who we actually saw for the very first time back in the year 2002, and then again, the Polyjuice Potion variant in 2021. One major thing to talk about when it comes to comparing these characters are the robe styles, where we have the Gryffindor robes, and then the Slytherin robes from back in 2001 through 2002, and then the 2021 variants, which include more of a blacker style. And of course, you get the short legs to represent year one through two. Another bonus about the 2021 Polyjuice variants compared to the 2002 ones is the fact that we actually get two facial expressions so we can actually turn them right around to see our Harry Potter facial expressions. But the one thing that's good about the 2021 variants is the fact that we actually get the hair pieces that go along with them compared to back in 2002 where we didn't get an alternate hair piece. So Harry's just gonna have to keep Goyle's hair just for the time being. Another thing that I wanted to compare in this section is the Sword of Godric Gryffindor that we got back in 2002, which uses the regular old knight sword in that silvery color, which I really love the metallic silver on that. Such a cool piece to get in that set back in the day. 
compared to the new mold that we actually got last year in the Collectible Minifigures Series 2, which is dual molded with the translucent red as well as the silver color that we know and love today. Now one thing that I would like to see as an update to the Sword of Gryffindor mold is actually a print that says Sword of Gryffindor. I'm not sure if they'd be able to do that. I mean, I think with the printing capabilities, they should be able to do that, but that would be the next step in the right direction of making it even better. Next, looking at Harry's best friend, Ron Weasley, we have our variants from back in 2001 and 2002, 2010 and 2011, and then finally in the middle, we have our 2021 variant with the Polyjuice Potion double-sided facial expression. Now, I absolutely love the facial expression they gave to that new Ron Weasley. I think it's really amazing. And just as I said before, you can turn around the facial expression and see the facial expression for Vincent Crabb, who we got back in 2002 for the first time. And then again in 2011, which I thought was really cool that we actually got his character in 2011, which is why I decided to bring out the 2010-2011 variant characters. You can see that we used the same exact hairpiece between the 2011 and 2002 versions, but we used the regular haircut style for the 2021 variant. I don't know if that's completely accurate, but I think LEGO did a pretty good job with what they have and just like our Harry minifigure we can just take a look and appreciate the Gryffindor and Slytherin robes in comparison right there from back in the day. So yeah that's really all that I have to say for Ron Weasley and Vincent Crabbe. Next looking at Hermione Granger we have our variant from 2001, 2010 and then in the middle we have our 2021 Polyjuice Potion Mistake variant which uses the same exact facial expression that we saw back in 2018 which is kind of disappointing but hey it's fine for what they could do. They added two other new facial expressions if you don't count the Golden Harry. If you take off the hairpiece you can plop right on this very nice and ready made cat mold for the head which I really love that they actually made a new mold for that. It's kind of dual molded right there with what would have been Hermione's hair piece right there from back in 2018. So I think that's really cool. And then they mold the face and then the ears onto that piece and also have the print for the front, which I really love the print. It looks so adorable, really cool how they captured that. We also see the same exact Slytherin robes between all three of the trio in that set. That's another thing that I just wanted to point out. And then finally, you can just take a look in comparison the robes that we got back in 2010 to 2001 and how we have that more black style for the 2021 robes. Next, taking a look at Draco Malfoy, we have our variants from 2001-2002, 2010, and then in the middle we have our 2021 Hogwarts Moments version of Draco Malfoy. I don't yet own the one that comes in the first flying lesson. I'll probably be doing a separate comparison video when I get that set anyways, so look forward to that. Now, the one thing that I do have to mention is the fact that I much prefer the tan hairpiece compared to the yellow hairpiece for Draco Malfoy, but you can see the evolution of the robes right here, how they all have that little crest compared to back in 2018. We didn't have that crest on the robes. You have the Slytherin crest back in 2001, 2002, 2010, 2011, and then again it just popped up again this year in 2021 with all of our minifigures. So yeah, that's really all that I have to say for a quick comparison of Draco Malfoy. I also really love the hair piece that they introduced for his minifigure compared to just the regular haircut style. One of our biggest minifigure comparisons in this video is for Ginny Weasley, which I have all of the variants of her minifigure that currently exist in LEGO form from back in 2002, 2021, 2020, 2010, 2011, as well as 2020. Now one thing that most of these minifigures of Ginny have in common is the hairpiece that they got introduced back in the 2010, 2011 sets. We also see an exclusive hair piece for the 2020 CMF variant, which is based off Half-Blood Prince during the Slug Club party. We also see the Obi-Wan hair piece, or at least that's what I like to call it in that RNG color for the 2002 Ginny Weasley. And you can just see the robe evolution from 2002 to 2010 all the way to 2021, where we have the short legs to represent year one through two. And we also have a reused facial expression, which I'm not too much of a fan of. Definitely the facial expression I like best when it comes to Ginny has to be the 2010-2011 facial expressions. 
even though I don't really care for the reuse outfit right here, you know, I think that's another really great version of Ginny Weasley, and I wish that LEGO would look back at the variants that they made back in 2010, 2011, and just give us more versions like that, not give us those reused facial expressions. Hairpiece is fine for the minifigure. So yeah, that's all that I really have to say for my comparison of Ginny Weasley. Here's just a quick view of the back of their characters. One of the comparisons I've been most looking forward to doing is for Gildroy Lockhart who I think turned out really great back in the 2002 sets, and they have really improved his character yet again in the 2020 and 2021 version. Now, one thing that I did want to point out is that I do really like the tan hair pieces, but I think that the nougaty color hair pieces work for his character. The double-sided facial expression they introduced in Diagon Alley is amazing. I'm really happy that they decided to reuse it again in the 2021 variant. The one thing that the 2021 variant is missing is a cape compared to the 2020 variant where we do get a dual molded cape right here with the purple lavender from the back and then the yellow from the other side. You even get a print on the back of the torso which is kind of similar just reversed colors right there to the 2021 variant. You can just take a look at that. We only get the one print from the front of the 2002 variant which I really love the color right there. That's kind of like a sand red going on for the outfit where we get the print from the front, which is kind of similar to what you would see nowadays for a version of Gildoray Lockhart. And also the facial expression, I just love that goofy facial expression from back in the day. And I did also want to do another thing while I'm here, where I take off the hairpiece of this minifigure, spin it right around, and just change it up with the 2002 variant. If you were interested to see what that hairpiece looked, on the other version of Gilderoy Lockhart. There's just a quick look of how that would look. You know, I do like that hair piece on the newer versions. I just don't think the eyebrows match too well with the hair color. You know, that's just the one thing. But I mean, I guess you can pretend that it's a wig if you see the extra wig included in the Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets set. And then the last minifigure that I have to show in this collection is Tom Marvolo Riddle or Lord Voldemort himself. Now, we got him for the very first time back in 2002, and then we just saw him again in 2020 in a book, and then 2021 in the Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets set. Now, the one thing I have to say overall is that I do like the hair pieces a lot better on the newer variants compared to back in the day, where they just decided to give him the Harry Potter hair piece, which I don't know why the heck they did that. We have the Slytherin robes from back in 2002, which is a lot less accurate compared to what we actually saw back in 2020, and in 2021, even though I would have liked to see some dual molding for those legs, I really love the torso print and giving it that retro style to the Hogwarts robes. I just think that Lego did a very nice job with that. And even giving us two new double-sided facial expressions right there. One of those eventually became a reuse facial expression, the one for the 2020 book variant. But we get one other exclusive facial expression. I keep forgetting that that one only has the one facial expression, but you can also just take a look at the back printing there for those two variants. And yet again, I just have to say the hair piece for these work a lot better than the one that we got back in 2002. They should have even just given him the Lockhart hair piece just recolored in black. That would have been a lot better than what we actually got. The Chamber of Secrets has always been something I've wanted to have in Lego form. I feel like LEGO did an amazing job with the 2021 version, in particular the slide from Moaning Myrtle's bathroom is a hundred times better than before. And even though that set is newer, the 2002 version has to be my favorite as a fun playset with hidden features, as well as a perfectly sized basilisk with endless playability. Otherwise, which of these layouts do you like better, 2002 or 2021? Tell me in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you know every time I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now, and I will see you next time. Bye!